Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com. And as we continue to tailor our digital workspace, it's crucial to start by talking about screen real estate. And the idea is that not all areas on the screen are created equally. For instance, here I have my painting in the middle, so I can kind of zoom in and you know focus here on this. And then around the edges of the screen, I have my palettes. Well, I can move these wherever I want, and then I can save that as a layout. So the question is, where is it best to keep these palettes on my screen? Well, there's essentially a priority system where the most valuable real estate is what's most comfortable for your dominant hand. For me, that's my right hand. The next thing you have to ask yourself is where is your body in relation to your tablet? Some people like to have their keyboard on the left, their tablet on the right because they're right-handed, and then their monitor kind of in the middle. If this is true, the center of their tablet lines up pretty evenly with the center of their shoulder. So on this tablet, we could call the center the highest value real estate. This is where it's the easiest to put your hand and to move either left or right is a little bit more challenging. Other people will have their stylus directly in front of them and then the keyboard after that and then after that is the monitor. Well, in this case, if we'll say you're right-handed, the right half of your tablet becomes much more comfortable than the center and certainly more comfortable than the left side. Here we have to reach quite a ways. Well, even though I don't use a USB tablet at this point, I'm actually drawing right on my monitor. They call it a Cintiq. The same is true for me. For me, it's easiest to use the right side of the screen, a little less easy to use the center, and then hardest to use the left side of the screen. Here I'm literally reaching across my body and it's a little bit uncomfortable. So when I'm designing my workspace, I keep that in mind. I think about the high priority area being this right half of the screen. This is where the stuff that I press most often ought to be. Now the canvas is easy to move. I can zoom in, I can rotate. With hotkeys, it means that I don't necessarily need to focus my entire painting right here because it's just easy enough to shift. The menus, however, they're a little more cumbersome to quickly shift around. So the places you put them in, you have to think of as more permanent. As it stands, the thing I do most often is changing tools. As a result, I've put my tool presets right here in the most comfortable position on my tablet. And this is great. It means that I can switch between tools like I want charcoal for a second, and then I want to switch to an eraser. Well, that's very easy. It's just where my hand naturally rests. The layers palette, on the other hand, it's nice to look at, but I actually don't touch it as much as you'd expect. Even if I had 10 or 15 layers, I don't find myself physically clicking on the layer stack. I have keyboard shortcuts for that. So in a sense, this left side is actually a really good choice because I don't need to reach over there. It's there for me to look at, but my hand is actually going to be over here on the right side. If I need to add a new layer, I do so with a keyboard shortcut, and all the while I might just be painting over here. So I use tool presets as an example here, but really all we're talking about is a high priority tool, something you use all the time. And for you, that might be the properties window. For instance, if you do a lot of graphic design work, you're going to be using a lot of adjustment layers. So in this case, having a large and prominent, easy to reach properties window open all the time would be really handy. Then you would just have to move your hand slightly lower and you could change any of those features, but it would make less sense to keep it over here where it would be harder to reach. But once again, this problem is going to be less pronounced if your tablet is already centered on your dominant hand. For me, I'm centered on the screen, so my hand has a harder time reaching to the left side. For you, it might be an equal distance moving from left or right. Now, as the series continues, we are going to talk about different types of layouts and what might work best for you. But for now, it really is important to take inventory of what is your high priority, what tools you use the most, what tools you use the least. If you can figure that out, designing your own workspace is going to be much more effective. So have fun and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.